Hello, it's a big, friendly rocket, a giant one. BFR is the name given to it. And according to the billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk, it's coming remarkably soon. He is a man with a track record, making top-range Tesla electric cars, developing large batteries and solar roof tiles, and he's behind the Falcon 9 rockets that can, amazingly, land upright. But now, he's not just promising the Earth, but Mars as well. He's aiming for his new generation, BFR, to replace all his other rockets and take cargo to Mars in 2022, passengers in 2024. Oh, and it will also speed up intercontinental travel on our own planet. New York, Shanghai will be the same time as Wigan to Manchester by train now. Well, entrepreneurs have to be optimistic. It helps get things done. And Mr. Musk is a doer for sure. But can he really reshape space travel? Chris Cook reports. All right. So, oh, welcome everyone. The future of space travel might be down to this man, Elon Musk, chief executive of SpaceX. He wants to go to Mars soon. Uh, fairly confident that we can complete the ship and be ready for a launch in about five years. Five years seems like a long time to me. Yeah. Um. SpaceX already has a track record, putting satellites into orbit for both public and private customers. Agencies like NASA, European Space Agency, have got very complicated systems. They're also funded by public money and getting the budgets that you need to do something this expensive is a real challenge. We've been talking about going to Mars for decades, but we haven't even made the first step on that journey. Well, Elon Musk has his own money and he has a lot of backers, so he can do things that NASA can't. As he set out his plans today, Musk highlighted tools his company has developed. For example, the cryotank. It's actually a 12 meter tank. A vast pressurized fuel tank, it's the key to having enough fuel to get to Mars. We successfully tested it up to its design pressure. <laughs> and then went a little further. Perhaps SpaceX's most magical breakthrough, though, is propulsive landing. It's strangely captivating. Rockets that go to space, maybe even Mars, then park themselves. And it contributes to their killer feature, reusability. It's, it's really crazy that we build these sophisticated rockets and then crash them every time we fly. This is, this is mad. His vast planned big Falcon rocket, the BFR, can come and go time and again. But there's reason to be skeptical beyond Musk's form on missing timetables. The BFR rocket and spacecraft that is being proposed is absolutely enormous. The volume of it is not that different to the International Space Station. And Elon is suggesting that it could go to Mars, to the moon, to the International Space Station. And the challenges of each one of those missions are quite different. So I would be surprised if this one size fits all approach really is the best way to do it. Musk actually even sees the BFR as being the basis of Earth travel. His rockets could fly into space and drop anywhere on the planet within an hour. Maybe that's the real commercial application of all of this, because making money out of Mars might be contentious. I suspect Elon Musk is driven by a vision and notion of, of really colonizing Mars, of something that some people would consider science fiction. The driving force between behind NASA's vision of going to Mars, the European Space Agency, the UK Space Agency, we're driven by the scientific question of understanding, is there life on Mars? Was there life on Mars? And perhaps those two things aren't going to sit side by side. We'll have to see. A new space race could be very different to the last. Elon Musk's plans do envisage colonizing Mars. The modern rush to the stars might not be for prestige or science, but to determine who gets mining rights on other planets.